Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'll be opening a box of 2021 artifacts. Uh, I pre-ordered these so I got them when they were under $100. I got three boxes. Um, only opening one right now. I'm glad I pre-ordered it as the price has gone crazy and we'll see what happens with this box. I've seen a lot of issues with it in other breaks such as damaged cards and some boxes having two boxes worth of hits in them and other boxes having zero hits so I'm hopeful that if we have a hits issue here between my three boxes they'll even themselves out I am hoping even if it takes a year or two at some point here the uh, the bubble bursts and prices start coming back down to normal or reasonable but I guess we'll see what happens I can even get the box open here it's fighting me there we go We'll just do right side, then left side. All right, Sean Monahan and Bergeron is going to be our first non-base card. It's numbered out of 499. Look how messed up that filler is just from opening the pack, probably. Not that I care the filler is messed up, but Getzlav and Braden Shen. Yeah, I mean, that bottom corner is messed up. Teravainen, Kuznetsov, and there's a Barkov out of 399, and Kubalik. Matthew Kachuk, Sean Shea Weber. And there's a Kyle Palmieri out of two ninety nine, and Rasmus Dahlin, who has looked awful so far this year. He is he is struggling like crazy. He was really good his first season, okay his second season. And this season he has been terrible. Matt Duchesne. And there is a, that's a nice one. Dominic Kubalik out of only 75. 75 out of 75. Jean Gabriel Pagayo. I have no idea how to say his last name. And Jacob Silverberg. So let's hope all our hits are in the other stack. Wow. 
Rupees. Rupe Hin Hins. Vasilevsky. And there's our rookie redemption for the Chicago Blackhawks. Looks like it's just going to be a regular redemption, not a autograph or jersey or anything. And Ricard Raquel. So it should be a hit, whether it's one of these Orem cards or or what they should be in these next three packs. Now oh, there's a thick card in this one. Miko Koskinen, Philip Forsberg, in a Threads of Time of James Neal. Game used. Two more packs. Again, there should be a hit in this pack and the next pack. Christian Jari, Bo Horvat, and we have a Lord Stanley Legacy Relic of Scott Gomez. This is also game used. All right, last pack. I think the best card I've seen pulled in a break so far is one of those Aram cards with a uh, Austin Matthews autograph on it. Peter Mrazek, Anthony Duclair, and uh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. A King Henrik Lundqvist. Autographed and numbered out of 45 dual jersey. That's a really sweet card right there. Game used. I was kind of feeling like the last hit would be a good one based on the other cards I pulled because I didn't really pull anything too crazy out of there, but that is a really awesome card. I mean, pretty sure he's probably going to be retiring, but that's really awesome. I'm really happy with that card. Before I move it away, I just want to take a look at the corners. There's a little damage on the lower right corner, it looks like. Yeah, the both lower corners have just a little bit of damage, but it's not too bad. All right, it's an awesome card. The rest of the hits, so to speak, or parallels. That's a nice one too, the Dominic Kubelik. So that is the first of three boxes of artifacts. I don't know if I'm gonna open artifacts again as my next video, because I also have a Another box of Allure waiting to be opened. And the third box of artifacts is a late Christmas gift to my son, so he's going to be opening the third box. But we'll see. We'll get to all three of them eventually, but that is a really nice hit right there. 
Thank you everyone who took the time to watch my video and I will see you on the next one.